Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Change Drive. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. So, we've been saying we were going to do these videos for a long time. Yes. Um, and like I told y'all, <sighs> today she don't want to make it seem like she's giving people advice. And explain, baby. Explain how you Because everybody's situation is different. And yeah. My happy could be someone that is not someone else's happy, you know? Yeah. That's true. So I just don't want this video to come off the wrong way. Yeah. This is so just, we want to set that tone like at the beginning. Yeah. This it's is just not our definition of what we feel Correct. in our relationship. And if you can get something out of it, that would be awesome. Wonderful. Like that's literally what we're putting it out for. Um, so episode just, one. But then we also just want them to let, let them know like how our relationship is. Yeah. Right? So they can And we want to be real with y'all. Yeah. Right. So we're going to tell you like what helps us, what works for us, just so, like she's saying, it may help somebody that's out there that possibly, you know, like, oh, what am I doing? Can I do something better? Is this something that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that I'm doing to affect my relationship? Is it something that the other person is doing and I'm not just saying anything? So that brings us to episode one. This is relationship tips. Or What's the change, right? We're just hearing up. Just listen. That's all. Just listen. Yep. Okay. So our tip one today is communication. And I know it sounds cliche. I swear to God, I know it sounds cliche that communication ain't key and this is that. But I'm telling you, communication is probably one of the most important things to have in a relationship. In all relationships. Yes. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Relationships, relationship. friendships. Every relationship that you have with another person, I feel like communication is very important yep. because you don't want to ever feel like you're not being completely honest right. with that person. Wanna and if you want to be transparent as possible. Yep. Yeah, just so they can know where you're coming from, too. Right. That's very important, too, because if you're just saying something and then you're not ex explaining kind of exactly what you mean or how you mean it, then another person could the other person could take it the wrong way. And I don't, and that's, that's something that I think happens in a lot of relationships and how people, they go on about marriage and they say, you know, yeah, you know, you live a lie, you know, you lie to your mate, our marriage is a lie and they joke about it, but it, it don't have to be because you don't have to, you don't have to lie. Like you can be completely honest and completely transparent with the person that you love. And I feel like that's the only way it's going to work because who wants to live a, that's living a lie. If you are married or in a relationship for a nice amount of time and you are just doing things because you think it's right and you're not speaking up right. then it's like okay you have a voice mm -hmm. like we come to the understanding like we both have a voice in this relationship and we always tell each other and she always has told me from the beginning like you're not wrong about how you feel if you ever feel some type of way you're not wrong about how you feel Never. so Never. I really respect that Cause you're an individual. Right. I mean, just because I feel one way, don't mean you gonna feel the exact same way. Right. And I have to understand, like, yeah, I don't feel like you should feel that way. That don't. Right. I, I, that, I don't get that. Yeah. That's how you feel. It's yeah. Just, every person's feelings is gonna be something different. Yeah, that's true. It's like uh, we talk to each other sometimes, and it was like, I look at her like, what? And she's like, I didn't mean it like that. Like, this is what I meant by that. Right. Um, get clarity, man. You yeah. can just always ask. I'll never assume. I was like, what you? What do you mean? Yeah. And just explain. Yeah. It yeah. takes time. Yeah. Communication yeah. takes time because you maybe because sometimes I don't understand where you're coming from at all, and we have those <laughs> hour conversations. Exactly. Just so you can get me to understand. Exactly. We will literally have conversations for, like she said, for like an hour just to get our <laughs> point across. No, because sometimes it still comes off, even if you explain it to me one time, or I explain it to you one time, right. it can still come off as, so, okay, well, you still meant it like that. It's like, nope, so let me say it in a different way. <laughs> right. So you can, because we don't ever want there to be any miscommunication. Because right. then, when you have miscommunication, you start making shit up in your own head. Right. That, that does not have to be made up, because you can just talk about it. And I think that has a lot to do with maturity, too. You have to be mature. You have to... 
you have to be mature. There's no way that immaturity is an option when it comes to communication in your relationship. Because mm -hmm. communication can mean a lot of different things. <clears throat> Just like, I'm trying to think about an example with us. Like we talked and... Oh, when we first got together. So let me tell y'all about this story. So we first got together and... I was telling Tanae, like, you know, I want to get in the gym. I want to start eating better. I want to do this, this, that, or whatever. And um, so, you know, we talked about it once before. And then about a couple of days later, um, I even probably told her, like, hold me accountable, like, t going to the gym or something. And a couple of days later, she like, you know, did you go to the gym today? This is before we even lived together or anything. We were just talking. So I got so offended. Like I got so offended. My first mom was just like, "Damn! Like, do you want me to go to the gym? Right, what you, you trying to do say? Do you want me to lose you weight? Like, what you trying to say? I was like, "Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's take it. Let me step back. Yeah, because I was just trying to say, because you you asked me to keep you accountable and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So then I had to learn, like, okay, so this is not from a bad space. Like, this right. is not. You gotta from, be ready for it. Oh, yeah. I gotta fix my wig. She, like she had she had the, you got to be ready for that you got to be ready for that open communication and that open honesty correct because if you're not ready for that then you're not ready for a committed relation or a relationship period right you're not really ready for a relationship if you feel like you can't be transparent or you can't take transparency then you shouldn't be in a relationship you're not ready you're not ready not a, not a real one or you just it's something that you're not used to, so it, it does it do take sometimes it take like some I'm not gonna lie sometimes when we would communicate I just be like oh my god like it's like I don't know you gotta have patience with it too because it's just like yeah. okay so now I don't understand what you're coming from so now I gotta try to understand so it's like it, it, it takes effort it, it take does effort take effort, and, effort. And, and patience yeah. but I also feel feel like it take confidence too correct because sometimes it it would be hard for me to be completely honest with you. Because okay. one, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. And two, I, and then I just, I, it was like, two, it was like, okay, I had to think about it. Like, well, I feel confident in my relationship. I feel confident that you do love me. So it was just if like. If I tell you this or if I'm trying to tell you something. Right. I don't got to be scared. Like, oh, she going to leave me. Right. Exactly. Okay. So I had to be, one, I had to be, I had to be confident. I had yeah. to be confident. I did have to, and I had to be patient. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And right off the bat, I feel like um, honesty and communication goes hand in hand. Yeah. Like, I feel like it goes hand in hand. And when I first, we first started talking, I told her some very personal things. Yeah. And I, and I, and I wanted to be completely upfront yeah. because I liked her so much. So I'm like, I cannot come into this lying or even, you know what I'm saying? Beating around the bush about anything. I'm about to be upfront about everything. Yeah, you so she tone. doesn't exactly. You definitely set the tone. I was like, okay. And I seen that you came at me like that. It's like, all right, man, I respect her for doing that. So now I got to reciprocate because yeah. I want her to feel the same way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. so I just was like, okay, I'm about to try something different with this. I'm about to be completely honest with her. You know what I'm saying? Because what's meant to be will be, will be. So I just feel like, let me, I just felt like, let me just be honest, completely open and honest with her. And. It just how I knew our relationship was different is like she just she was she respected that so much. She's like nobody has ever been that honest with me. Nobody has ever been that vocal and communicated that clear to me about like what she want, about you know what I'm saying, about different things, just being completely honest. And from that moment when she like understood so much of what I was trying to do. It was just like, oh my God, I'm in love with her. <laughs> I'm in love with her because we were on the same page at that point. Yeah. We were on the same page at that point. So it's just like, you know, I remember we were in the car one day moving from another city back here. And we just had like an honest conversation. I'm like, just tell me something that you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's on your mind? What you think? That's a good. Yeah. Cause I'm like, she probably not gonna like how I feel, but I'm. It was my honest. truth, and it, and it wasn't even more. It wasn't like an argument or anything. We were just in the car talking. I'm just like, tell me something. Tell me something you think about me, or you think about, you know what I'm saying, about any anything. And we were just honest, and we laughed. We laughed at it, like it was just like, yeah, you right. 
but I feel like telling somebody what you want up front that's another thing in a relationship that'll get you caught and up stay with it though stick to it yeah because so it got to be your honest truth exactly because if you're trying to like sugarcoat something or, or if you're trying to exactly in the beginning of course in a relationship you're gonna have to compromise but that's when you get in the relationship yeah i mean like compromise something that you know something that you don't want so okay well uh, right it's like i really don't want this but she uh, wanted so let me just right. let me just go with it because you know i do like her and it, on the small stuff but like on like the stuff that you really like your i don't want to say your not values but like your um what you believe in, you yeah, your beliefs and what you really want in a relationship, and don't yeah. ever compromise that. Don't ever do it. Yeah, because then he's gonna be like compromise over compromise over compromise, mm -hmm. and, like, and now it's gonna feel like you not even in a relationship no more. It's just you just have this relationship because you just this is what you signed up for. So it's like you signed up for it. Don't don't not be honest and don't not communicate exactly what you want. And I think that's um that's that's that causes failure in a lot of relationships because they're not up front. They don't tell people exactly what they want or they don't, ex just like how people have sex. Tell them how you want to have sex. <laughs> you don't have to not, just because, you exactly. don't have to not, you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, go to your girls or go to your homeboys like, man, she ain't do this. Or go to your girls like, she ain't, or he ain't, you know, do this right or whatever. But I'm gonna just, tell him if you like him or her, tell them tell your tell the person that you're really trying to be serious with tell them like hey i didn't like how you did that last night i'm gonna be honest let me tell you though how i like it so when we do do it again you could get it right it's not hard it's not hard and people make it a little bit more hard but you have to communicate that correct you have you have to say that and it's a human fear like oh my god i don't want them to leave or i don't want them to take it but wrong if they, but if, even if they do take it wrong like we were saying earlier just explain exactly how you mean but it. if they still know if they they're like damn or they're not receptive to your communication it's just like okay well maybe that just wasn't the person for you exactly especially if you try to explain exactly how you meant it and they're still not getting it and they don't want to get it and they're not trying to hear you out and hear where you coming from, then maybe it's just not meant to be. But at least you would know that. Um, you, you took that chance. Exactly. You took that chance when you was honest with me. Exactly. And I could have been like, oh, you know what? Nah. Right, like, oh, yeah, she she think I'm trying to have harp on her way and shit. Right. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> so like, when you told me that personal shit, it's like, nah. Exactly. Exactly. We could have been like, like well, I, that could have scared me. I'm like, nope, I'm gone. I'm Instead sure. of that, that was just like, you know. But I was willing to because I liked her so much and I, I liked what we had. I liked how I felt around her. I liked what we had together. I did not care. Cause if it would have been, okay, I'm gone. Sorry. If it would have been, okay, I'm gone, then it's okay. She like, gone. But at least but I don't feel honest. bad. I don't have no regrets. Right. Because from the beginning I said, this is, this is what it is. This is how it is. we can roll with it or you don't have to at least i would know even if this did end i was completely honest from the beginning so i have no regrets and everything was working out as exactly how it's supposed to work yeah. and it obviously did but i'm just saying you know what i mean i just i don't know communication is key so like a few takeaways i would just say is always communicate honestly always be open because you have to be open you can't be closed-minded or you know like one track minded you have to be open because if you're not open then you may not get where the other person is trying to come from and it's not that you don't get it it's just you don't want to if you're like that once so you got to be open-minded um i say three when it comes to communication, you being open, you have to be ready for that truth or whatever's about, yeah. to, about to happen. You have to mm -hmm. be ready. You have to be prepared. Yeah. You got to be prepared to take feedback, be receptive, like all of that. I feel like it's all important. Negative or positive. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because nine times out of ten, if that person really likes you and if they really want to be with you, what they're telling you is nothing to hurt your relationship. It's nothing to hurt y'all. It's nothing to make y'all worse. It's only to make you better if the person is very, is, if the person is there for you and they really want you. I feel like it's only it's only to help better your relationship. So that's that's what I feel like. And that's what that's how we live our life. That is how we live our life. And that's completely honest. Yeah. We're completely honest with each other. And even if we do, you know what I'm saying, like get into it every once in a while, we talk about it. We don't just, well, all right, whatever. Like we argue, but. Yeah, we argue. We argue, but it's just like, at but the we, end of all that, we sit down and we talk. We do. Like, all right, well, we was, I know we was yelling, but this is what I was trying to say. Exactly. Because when we, we were hitting the moment, you say shit that you wasn't trying to say yeah. or you wasn't thinking about when you wasn't trying to get your point across or you just said it. Or you just said it because you was trying to get your point across, but they weren't getting it. Right. So you had to say something to get their attention and you really didn't mean it. <laughs> so it's just like, we sit down and like, okay, this is what I meant. You know what I mean? This is exactly how I felt. I said this to get your attention. You know what I'm saying? Just break it down and then you will feel so much better. Even though some people are like, I don't want to harp on it. I don't want to keep talking about it. But if you talk about it and get everything that you need to off your chest, yeah. it's... And it's a difference it won't between be talking to someone to death and communicating. You talking to someone to death when the other person not even trying to, to understand or they won't ever understand. Exactly. Or they don't care to understand. Yeah. That's talking to someone to death. Right. And communication is when you're actually having a conversation about y'all truth. Yeah. About how you feel. Yeah. So. So hopefully y'all got something out of that. Yeah. Because it's just and we it's hope, just and you, We hope. Exactly. And we, we want to just share... And like I said, it's going to be plenty of more of these videos. This was just number one, communication. That was episode one of our relationship tips. Communication was the number one tip um, for us. That's how we felt. Every relationship may be different, but... This is just how we do us. Yep. And there's more to come. And we more appreciate things. you for listening. We do appreciate you for listening. We want you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Also, we do have one thing that we do want you to comment on below. So, can you just comment on, like, the number one tip you think would help others in relationships? What's your number one? What's your number one tip? Let Artist us know communication. What, what is, is your number one tip? So, comment below. Subscribe. Share, share. Comment. We love you guys for supporting us continuously. And Cheney Tribe out.